A whistleblower claims that under Republican Governor Greg Abbott, officers at the Texas border have committed extraordinary acts of cruelty against infants, children, and the heat exhausted. Intrigued? Then click that like, subscribe, and the alert bell, and maybe check out my Patreon and enjoy the video. So now that Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida is running for president, it's easy to forget that there are many other terrible Republican governors out in the United States. And one that comes in second place right under DeSantis, who gives him a run for his money, is Governor Greg Abbott of Texas, also a Republican. And we've covered in previous videos some terrible policies and terrible actions of Greg Abbott, mostly related to culture war issues and very capricious and cruel anti-immigration policy. And continuing with that trend, there is a very sobering, a disturbing report from a whistleblower in Texas alleging that under Greg Abbott, uh, Border Patrol agents or law enforcement in Texas, which uh, patrols the area near the border, have committed extraordinary acts of cruelty against undocumented migrants. So we're going to play this clip and then dive into some of the reporting around it. So brace yourselves. The trooper who sent this email to their superior claims that they are being asked to push small children and nursing babies back into the Rio Grande and being ordered to refuse water to migrants even in the extreme heat. This was all detailed in an email obtained by our partners at the Houston. That right there, by the way, barbed wire. Chronicle from a confidential source with knowledge of border operations. The trooper sent this message to push for a series of rigorous policy changes, including more barbed wire revoking these directives and removing the buoys placed along the Rio Grande. You may remember last week, Governor Greg Abbott called. Speaking of buoys, I th I'm pretty sure the reporting indicates that there are barbed wire wrapped buoys uh, along the Rio Grande. So it's not just barbed wire on the shore on the shoreline surrounding the Rio Grande. It's also buoys, barbed wire wrapped buoys in the river. Very cruel. Called for the installation of razor wire wrapped buoys in the river. The trooper detailed several incidents of concern about migrant safety near Eagle Pass, including a four-year-old girl who passed out from heat exhaustion after she was pushed back by the Texas National Guard, a pregnant woman who had a miscarriage after being stuck in the wires, and a teenage boy who broke his leg trying to navigate the water around the wire. Now, the governor said that he is doing whatever it takes to take the necessary steps to secure our border. He will also be challenging the lawsuits against him. A spokesperson with DPS did share an email from their director calling for an audit to determine if anything else can be done to improve migrant safety. So yeah, that's a very sobering series of allegations. And I should clarify just for the sake of, you know, um, you know, facts. Uh, these are allegations right now because they're coming from a whistleblower within uh, the Texas uh, Border Patrol law enforcement agencies. Um, it's to be taken seriously, but they're still allegations. Um, Axios has, you know, a, again, kind of like a, um, a concise version of the reporting. Texas troopers working Greg Abbott's Operation Lone Star Initiative were ordered to push young children into the Rio Grande River and not give immigrants water, according to internal emails exclusively reviewed by the Express News and Houston Chronicle. A July 3rd email sent by a Department of Public Safety trooper to their superior details previously unreported incidents witnessed in Eagle Pass, Texas. Texas recently set up miles of miles of barriers using barbed wire and buoys in the river, according to the Associated Press. In the email, the trooper reported that a pregnant woman having a miscarriage was caught in the wire in June, according to newspapers. Apparently suffered a miscarriage afterwards. It also said a four-year-old girl passed out from heat exhaustion as she attempted to pass the barrier and was pushed back by the Texas National Guards. A teen boy broke his leg while trying to get around the barbed wire, and the trooper also wrote that the wire has increased the number of drownings by forcing immigrants into deeper parts of the water. The trooper called for policy changes, including removing the barriers and calling back a directive to withhold water from immigrants. I believe we've stepped over a line into the inhumane, the trooper wrote in an email. Uh, Joaquin Castro, from a Democrat from Texas, responded to the report online calling the directives an absolutely monstrous inhumane policy. He said he was at dinner last night with the Secretary of State, Tony Blinken, and shared the article with him, urging the Biden administration to intervene. DPS spokesman Travin Constantine responded to Axios' request for comment by emailing a link to the tweet he posted last night. So according to the Department of Public Safety in Texas, they're denying the allegations. Troopers give migrants water. They treat their wounds. They save them from drowning. They also do everything possible to deter them from risking their lives in the first place. Now, again, 
these these allegations are unproven, but they are to be taken very seriously. And to be quite frank with you, uh, Governor Abbott does not deserve the benefit of the doubt in this respect because we have documented instances in the past where he participated in BS, anti-immigration, culture war, gotcha moments where he lied to a bunch of undocumented migrants and then shipped them off to other parts of the country after deceiving them about lodging and employment and health benefits. He, he was part of that like whole Martha's Vineyard thing uh, that we reported about and we discussed in previous videos months ago. So it's not like Reg Abbott has a neutral standard or even a positive progressive standard with respect to the treatment of undocumented migrants. So there's no reason to give him the benefit of the doubt, even though, again, these allegations remain unproven. Um, it's very sobering, something to be taken seriously. And I'll simply point out that in, um, in terms of how the governor, how Greg Abbott has defended himself, he says he's taking necessary steps to secure the border and accuse federal officials of refusing to do so. Texas is deploying every tool and strategy to deter and repel illegal crossings between points, ports of entry as President Biden's dangerous open border policies entice migrants from over 150 countries to risk their lives entering the country illegally. Now, again, this is a common right-wing talking point, but I just simply want to say this in summation. The resources, manpower, and policies under the Biden administration are virtually identical to those under the Trump administration. So if people want to say that President Biden has an open border policy, they need to point to specific actions and specific things that the Biden administration is doing or not doing to create this so-called open border policy. The fact that conservatives and Republicans can't do that is proof that they're just simply making empty talking points, right? Because again, the funding, the manpower, the resources, the policies are virtually identical. The only difference is, is that the Biden administration is somewhat less cruel in its treatment of undocumented migrants. There aren't, you know, children being, the family separations are significantly reduced. Children aren't being thrown in cages. And actually, as a matter of fact, as we've discussed in previous videos, under the Biden administration, since the rescinding of Title 42, we've actually seen a drastic drop, a 50 to 70 percent reduction in illegal contacts at the border under the Biden administration. So steps are being taken. So the, the, the fact of the matter is that there is no dangerous open border. There is a crisis at the border, but that has nothing to do. It's not because of Joe Biden. It's not because of Democrats. This is a longstanding issue that has uh, concerned this country. It's happened under Democratic administrations. It's happened under Republican administrations. And in order to affect the sort of comprehensive changes necessary to help resolve this issue, Congress actually has to act. And part of it, and I know Republicans and conservatives don't want to hear this, part of it involves both increasing our diplomatic ties with our neighbors, actually being kind and fostering positive diplomatic relations with them, which is not what the Trump administration did, but is what the Biden administration is doing, which is part of the reason why Mexico has agreed to commit $1 billion to border security, which is $1 billion more than they committed under Donald Trump. It's part of the reason why so many of our southern borders have increased the number of asylum seekers that they will accept from the United States. So if migrants are trying to get into the United States by claiming asylum and the United States feels like we can't hold them, other countries have committed like, hey, while their application for asylum is being processed, we will take them. That's another beneficial aspect of the Biden administration that wasn't there under the Trump administration. But we also have to invest in these other countries as well because there are reasons that these migrants are looking to leave their countries, either because of issues with safety or prosperity. So if the issue is reducing the number of or reducing the amount or the rate of immigration into this country, then we have to help so that, you know, these migrants don't want to leave their country where they can have a safe and prosperous life with their friends and family and loved ones in their native countries, if that's the goal. And of course, again, conservatives and Republicans don't want to do it. Their solution is stuff like this, barbed wire, barbed wire buoys, and shoving kids and infants and pregnant women back into rivers. That's not going to work.